Welcome to Writing for Big Band with the Kiowa Thig Dance Party, the series where we take a deeper look at the techniques that make big band music great and show you how we use them in the dance party. Hey everybody, today we are talking trumpets and specifically I want to talk about a voicing that I love having in the high trumpets. That is a major sixth chord or a minor seventh chord and I'll explain how they're the same actually in closed position. So let's get into it. A closed position voicing is when you have your melody note and all of the notes in the chord are within an octave of that melody. If you have a note that's more than an octave away, for example, something like this, where you have a tenth between E and C sharp, that's called an open voicing. So as long as all the notes are as close to the melody as possible, being within that octave, that's a closed voicing. Closed voicings can be hard to play if you have them way up high, because the low instruments, like a tuba or a bass trombone or a very sax, can't quite get that high note up in there. And sometimes you'd have an instrument that can play more than an octave higher than that low instrument playing the melody note. So it doesn't really work well when you have a bunch of different instruments playing together really high. But it's great when you have instruments like the trumpet. Because the trumpet, of course, everyone has the same notes available to them. Unless you're Ryan DeWeese, you have extra notes available to you. This guy's crazy. So what I've done here is I've shown an A major 6 chord. Major 6 chord is going to have the root, which is A, the third, C sharp, the fifth, E, and the sixth. The major six is F sharp, and that makes it a major six chord. That's another way to spell F sharp minor seven. So sometimes people call it one or the other. It's more of a context thing, but I like to call it a major six chord because that's what it is in this context. Transposed, if you arrange this out for the trumpets, you have the bottom trumpet on their G sharp, and then the root for the trumpets is B, and then D sharp, and then F sharp. This major six chord, way up high like that, you can see Sibelius is making it red, which tells you it's hard for trumpets to play. Again, not hard for Ryan DeWeese to play. When you have it up in this octave, it's got this great sizzle on it. And this is the last chord of Billy May's arrangement of Come Dance With Me for Frank Sinatra. So that sounds like this. And of course, they put that little fall on it, which makes it even more saucy. But you can hear that sizzle they get on that high note, and it just makes it sound amazing. So I love that sound so much, I stole it and put it into my piece, The Movement. What I did was I wrote a series of chords, which as you can see, don't be uh, intimidated by all the flats and whatnot, you can see that they're all closed voicings. The top note is only a seventh higher than the bottom note. So you'll hear... Uh, this chord, they're all, these three are major six chords, or minor seven, depending on how you want to think of it, and this one's a major seven chord, and the Sibelius trumpets make it sound like this. But Ryan DeWeese actually recorded all the trumpet parts himself, and he makes it sound like this. I love the sound of those major six chords, and I hope you guys will, in your writing, try to use some of them with the trumpets up above the staff, getting those nice tight closed voicings. Amazing. <laughs>